Maharashtra, the third largest state in India. With six national parks, more than 40 wildlife sanctuaries and the highest number of biodiversity heritage sites in the country, Maharashtra is well known for its rich wildlife. This story is about diverse wildlife of Pune. Pune, the second largest city in the central western part of Maharashtra. In the 17th century, it was the base of Maratha Empire. In 21st century, it's the Oxford of East and the culture capital of the state of Maharashtra. With unique geographical location, the region is surrounded by diverse habitats like semi-evergreen and deciduous forests, grasslands and scrublands. Gardens and plantations some unique freshwater ecosystems. These diversified habitats support a dazzling array of wildlife. more than 300 species of birds and more than 40 species of mammals are found here. Secrets of Wild Pune Mountain Rangers bath in the glory of the morning sun. It's breeding season for most animals. For some birds, it's time to display the plumage.
For some, it's time to chase away competition and to impress the female. Some are busy building nests. While some are busy guarding the nest. This little Gribe female displays a unique behavior. She has built a nest on tiny island in a small water body. Whenever she senses danger, she tries to hide the eggs and the nest using leaf litter and twigs. Chicks of some birds are uniquely adapted. Whenever they sense danger, they remain silent. The camouflage helps. They move only when parents arrive. Some birds are busy feeding the chicks. At a nearby site, this Indian eagle owl female is protecting two of her chicks from the scorching summer heat. Evenings are pleasant and it is also the time for feeding the chicks. Hundreds of river terns have laid eggs on a small exposed island in a large water body. Their task becomes difficult when the eggs are hatched. The tiny chicks constantly need shade and water. River tern females make frequent visits to the water body. With their wings and body feathers soaked in water, they come back to the nest. This helps them regulate chicks' body temperature. When females are away busy fetching precious water, the chicks are exposed to the elements of nature. When chicks grow up, they need water as well as food. High in the hills of Sayadri, a pair of Shaheen falcons is busy feeding its chicks. Chicks grow up fast. Fights for food are common.
grown-up chicks have a ferocious appetite. Besides eating throughout the whole day, they keep themselves busy in preening and stretching activities. These exercises help them strengthen the muscles and the wings. Wings that will help them conquer the skies soon. In a nearby grassland, this young leopard cub is trying to learn the prey stalking skills. Leopards are the epitome of adaptation. They can pretty much adapt to live anywhere, adapting to many altitudes, topography, terrain, food source, and much more. Under the able guidance of their mother, these cubs will soon master the art of living in the wild. Crested serpent eagles like to eat snakes, but even they can't ignore the easy meal like these earthworms. Some birds travel thousands of kilometers during winter migration. This lesser kestrel female will try to eat as many insects as possible before the next leg of her journey to South Africa. Males are busy hunting insects, too. This short-toed snake eagle is trying its luck with an Indian cobra, but fails. Foxes are perhaps the cutest looking mammals of the grasslands. Besides hunting small birds, 
they also scavenge on other dead animals. The search for food is a constant activity. Jackal feeding on dead buffalo carcass. But when it sees another scavenger approaching the carcass, it displays aggression to scare the competitor and claim a sole right to the food source. Besides jackals, foxes and hyenas also feed on the same carcass. Within a couple of nights, the carcass is almost finished. Even a wild boar will scavenge on an easy meal and is here to claim its share. Another carcass at another location. This time, a stray dog is feeding on it. Sometimes even dogs become prey. But this hyena looks more interested in the camera trap. This hyena sub-adult is waiting for its mother. It still depends on its mother for food and protection. Both are curious about the camera trap. These habitats are shared by various animals, including shepherds and their sheep. But one animal that rules this dry, 
barren-looking terrain, the Indian wolf. Breeding season starts in September, and four to six pups are usually born in the month of December. Taking care of newborn pups is a delicate task. Denning's site can have some strange visitors. A pair of porcupines. are shifted to a new den when the female senses danger or even as a routine. Without mother's care, protection and love, Survival of young ones is almost impossible. Pups are totally dependent on the mother's milk for four to six weeks, but they grow up fast. When the pups are one month old, they play outside the den, curious about all things around. Adults visit the den site early mornings and late evenings. Adults are greeted with much enthusiasm. Soon the pups start exploring the surrounding areas, the new world around them. As they grow, they join the pack, roam around their territory and even take part in hunting. The strength of the wolf is the pack, 
Together, they are a formidable force. Every pack member howls, and every howl is unique. Howling is used to communicate with other pack members and to advertise their territory. Life is tough here in the scrubland and survival is far from guaranteed. A simple injury can often spell the end for both predator and prey. Soon, some of these sub-adults will separate from the pack in search of their own territory and to make their own pack. The wolf is a magical animal. The grassland ecosystem revolves around this mammal. This wonderful animal and its habitat needs to be protected. <laughs> 